Good morning and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Monday, September the 25th, 2023, and this is episode 4154. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode, Sparrows. Stay tuned. I love the way Jesus teaches and his examples and illustrations are so incredible. And so in this particular verse, verses that I'm going to be reading for you today, there are two really great examples. One is sparrows and the other is hares. Yeah, I was going to call this hares, but... I changed my mind and called it sparrows. Matthew ten twenty nine through 31. Are not two sparrows sold for a copper coin? And not one of them falls to the ground apart from your father's will. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Do not fear, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. Now, the reason I'm laughing as I was reading this, because I just, I just read this and I I had another thought, but when you, when you read about the fact that the very hairs of your head are all numbered, listen, if you if you ever got COVID, one of the things that you get on that is is this hair loss situation, and um, and it, it's just incredible. And yet, uh, God knows <laughs> how many hairs on your head; they're all numbered. This small copper coin Jesus mentioned was the smallest least valued coin in the Roman Empire. And he was using it to teach about God's care for his children. God controls the timing and circumstances of such seemingly insignificant events as the death of a tiny sparrow. He does not miss the smallest, most seemingly insignificant detail of what is happening on our planet. Even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Such apparently insignificant trivia about you, like the number of hairs on your head is known and noted by God. Our God is not busy running the universe, that he doesn't have time for little birds and little us. That God knows how many hairs are on our heads may seem trivial to us, but not to the one who gave life to this spinning blue marble called earth. Jesus doesn't want us to miss the fact that we are loved greatly loved. The point is that we are valuable to God, regardless of what anyone else may think or say. This is especially encouraging at those times when we think there is no one who notices or can help us. As David said, Lord, what is man that you take knowledge of him? Or as the New Living Translation puts it, O Lord, What are mortals that you should notice us? Mere humans that you should care for us? But he does care for us. Nothing escapes his detection and will. Father, thank you that you know the hairs of our head and you know when a sparrow falls. Nothing is insignificant in our lives to you. Help us, Lord, to start our day today with realizing that we are important to you. 
everything in our lives are important to you. Help us to trust you, to lean into you today. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, have a great Monday. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.